Hey guys, here in this video I am going to show you how to grow the Cineraria plant from the seeds. As you can see these are the seeds and I bought them online and if you haven't grown Cineraria please do because they are just gorgeous and the most interesting thing about the Cineraria is that the bloom lasts for more than a month. And that's why you can, I mean, you should grow it at your home. And please also note that Cineraria is a winter flowering plant in India. To sow the seeds, I am going to use a seedling tray as you can see here. But you don't have to use seedling tray if you don't have at your home. You can use any container where it's at least 2 inches deep. And please make sure that your container has at least one drainage hole. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 80% of cocoa peat and rest 20% of vermicompost. Most, I mean in most cases, this is the same potting soil mix I use whenever I need to grow anything from the seeds. Filling the seedling tray with the potting soil mix. Next, I am just pressing the individual unit and please make sure not to press it too hard. Just press it very lightly so that air pockets are removed. It's time to sow the seeds and you can already see that seeds are really very tiny so please be careful. I am just going to sow near about 2 to 3 seeds on it, each unit. Cineraria seeds need somewhat lights to germinate. I mean, they are not going to germinate properly if you are going to cover them completely. I mean, they need somewhat light and not dark to germinate. And that's why I am just covering them with only cocoa peat. And please only do the same thing. I mean, don't cover them too deep. Since this is the first time watering, I am going to water it a bit more but from the next time onwards, I would be more careful and most probably I am going to use a sprayer. So I would recommend you to do the same thing. I mean you can just use a sprayer and just keep the soil moist and you would like to spray the I mean, uh, growing medium once in morning and once in evening. However, please make sure not to keep the soil too soggy. All right. And next thing is really very important. I am going to keep the tray only in a bright area away from the direct sunlight. So guys, finally this is how they are looking and I am able to get near about 70% of germination rate which I would say that not that bad. Anyway, I don't, I, I mean I was not expecting 100% germination rate because it would be too difficult to grow all the seedlings. Some, some seedlings are also damaged by the sparrows and this is the common thing that happens, I mean that keep happening with me and uh, like I said you earlier, I really don't mind, I just let them play with few seedlings and if they are going to damage few seedlings, it's okay for me. I can end the video right here but I am also going to show you how you can transplant your seedlings very easily. See I am also going to show you the best potting soil mix for the Cineraria plant and please note that Cineraria is extremely sensitive plant and if you are not going to prepare the potting soil mix properly your plant may die so please be careful. So here are the things that I am taking. I am using 30% 30, 30 of normal garden soil, 30% of vermicompost, 30% of cocoa peat and rest 10% of perlite. To be honest, it would be little bit more than 10% but you can just assume and add near about 10 to 15% of perlite to the potting soil mix. I am going to transplant one of the seedlings and this is, this is the thing I am doing just to show you and I am just going to transplant one seedling in a 4 inches of container. You can see that my pot has already drainage holes so just make sure that your pot has at least one drainage hole. To pull out the seedling from the seedling tray it's really very easy. You can use a bamboo stick or even a spoon and then gently try to push it upward and it would come out very easily and this is one thing that I love using seedling tray that you can I mean you can transplant seedling very easily without disturbing their roots. 
so guys this is all about how to grow the cineraria plant from the seeds and if you found the video useful then please don't forget to like it share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and many many thanks for doing that if you want to see from this test to until flowering and how you can get lots of blooms on your cineraria plant then please watch my next video where i have covered everything from saplings test to until lots of blooms However, in that video, I really spoke really very fast and it was, I mean, uh, it was the first time when I started my YouTube journey. So I really spoke very fast. So please bear with me and uh, I know that you would do that. Thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and enjoy.